Welcome to Jethro's Garage. Hey, thank y'all for joining me today. It's a beautiful Sunday out here and I'm just, I'm trying to get caught up and get some stuff done. Still working on that homework. I know I've got probably about 12 hours left right now when I'm recording this video, maybe a little less um, to get everything done. <laughs> I got one class done. A in there, solid A, um, probably about a 96, 97% average. Uh, the other one, I've got a solid B in there. Just, I want an A, just, I don't know. Anyway, today we're going to talk about the Snap-on LN46ACF long nose slip joint pliers. Y'all come on in here. And let's take a closer look at these things. Okay, like I said, the Snap-on LN46 ACF 7-inch long nose slip joint pliers. So they're not calling them needle nose. Uh, they're calling them long nose, okay? Uh, still, to me, they're slip joint needle nose, which, you know, you don't really see slip joint needle nose. Let me get a pair, just so you know, for reference. These are comparable needle nose. Uh, they're not slip joint. They're a single position. Designed to get into places, you know, reach in there pretty good. Okay. So one thing I like about uh, Snap-on is they are, uh, they're usually very well made. Um, these are some nice pliers. I know I didn't go over a few things. The price is $62.25. Yes, yes, that's, that's a bit uh, expensive. But hear me out. I'm going to finish this video and I'm going to tell you my opinions. Uh, they're made in the USA, and it's proudly stamped right there. Um, nice stamping. This is this right here is some laser etching. Snap-on is stamped right there. That's pretty nice. That ain't coming off. Made in the USA. Come back over. Same thing. Snap-on USA. Um, I have been using these, and they have come in very handy. Uh, I was going to try to pick up a, a dime with them or a nickel or what have you, but obviously I ain't got the trick down and I don't know how it's done. But anyway, these are three position long nose pliers. So they got, sorry, two, here's the middle position. Gives you a little bit open, bigger opening. And here is the other position. Let's get it back. Um, if you look, there's a little bit of wobble in here. Just a little. Let me bring it a little closer. The uh, machining is nice. You can tell these have went through a polish and then maybe some other type of treatment afterwards. Very nice, very well uh, ground, forged and ground. Um, the fit and finish of these is pretty, pretty awesome. Um, I've seen better, but Snap-on Snap -on does a very good job. They spend a, a lot of time, money, an effort into engineering and creating some quality tools. Can everybody uh, get into a pair of these? I mean, maybe not. It's they're they're a little cost prohibitive, but if you can, they they tend to be worth your money, and uh, I mean you'll pass these down to your children. 
handles are nice. They're thick, very comfortable. Um, put a lot of pressure on these. I like them. I, like I said, I've used these for, I, I don't remember when I bought them. I know I've had them for probably six months now or more, and I've been using them. Like I said, I was gonna do a little little test about you know the whole picking up a nickel, but I can't really do it. <laughs> I, ha I haven't figured out the trick to it yet. But these are some pretty fine pliers. I would buy them again. Um, they're not everybody's cup of tea. I know everybody's out there waiting for uh, Harbor Freight to copy them. Um, I got mixed feelings on that. I like I like buying tools at a at a better cost point, um, but we all hate a thief. I think every single one of us in the, you know, watching this hates it when someone steals from someone else, and that's theft. Um, you know, if one thing to let the patent run out, but this is still still patented, and what's patented is this three three position design and how it's designed, and. It looks as though that Harbor Freight has copied it. I can't tell you for sure, but it looks as though that they have copied it. Only thing is that right there, they didn't copy that part. Well, here's the snap-on, here's the icon. Another thing is the steel, the quality of steel. Is it made out of the same steel? I would venture a guess and say no. They may be similar hardnesses, but there's more to the hardness factor than just, I mean, the steel as to the hardness of it. Um, there's all kind of different points. I'm not a metallurgist, but I do know that quality steel makes a difference. Well, let's back y'all up. I got some other things to share with you. Well, first of all, before I forget, let's take a look at these. Remember, they're dirty. They have been used. I have used these a fair amount. I caught heck trying to even find them earlier. I had misplaced them. And yeah, <laughs> I was getting very frustrated. I was about to start tearing my garage apart. There you go. Let's back this up and talk about some other stuff. Okay, so everybody knows that I keep talking about doing a comparison between Snap-on and Icon and a few different pairs of pliers, higher quality pliers, and I was just, I was trying to get things set up. Well, one of the things I wanted to set up was a way to control the force that I put on a bolt for the slip test. And I'm gonna do my slip test a little different this time. First, I want to apply X amount of force to every bolt, I mean to every pair of pliers and see if it slips. And then I'm gonna decrease it until it slips and see if it damages the teeth. Now, with that being said, I needed some way to control the force. And this is my solution. It is a C-clamp that I have turned into a device to uh, control force. Uh, I'll be able to, it doesn't take much to put a lot of force on these pliers, but I'll be able to tighten this down using a, a torque wrench to inch pounds. Believe me, it's just gonna be inch pounds. I've just, I've did some messing with it already and let me loosen them up enough so it's going to be fairly fairly even so i'll take and i'll put them in the in the clamp let me get them in here i'll put them in the clamp back them all the way up to the clamp and then tighten them down i'll tighten them down to whatever figure I decide I figure is right but this is like easy and it's it's like putting a ton of pressure on these pliers already 
So it won't take much uh, to put the needed pressure on them. So this is one of the things I was doing. The other thing is I'll be setting up a micrometer to figure up how much slack we got it. And I will tell you, I know I've already talked about these pliers um, before and they had a little slack in them. I took them to the snap-on guy because these icon are fairly new. These are used. Um, I have damaged, damaged the uh, teeth on these, but we'll take that in consideration when we're taking doing the test. But we tightened it up. Uh, the snap-on guy tightened it up a little bit. I saw how he did it, and I took it home, tightened them up a little more. Um, and now they're back to where they were. And remember, I said, like I said in that video, I actually did the damage to these by essentially twisting something like this when it really wasn't meant to do. I took an immovable ob object and tried to turn it. Um, anyway, so that's the little deal. I got a video showing how I made this. It might not be a very good video. I haven't even looked at it yet. Um, I started out, I wanted to braise this all together and it wasn't working out right. So I ended up TIG welding it all together. A lot of this is zinc or galvanized, zinc coated. And uh, yeah, it was a booger. Um, I won't, I won't, I'm not a, I got a lot of practice. I need to get some practice in on my welding because my welds are just atrocious. Uh, they're in there, they're holding, it's good, but it's ugly. It's real ugly. Um, so I need to, I need to uh, get some work in. But this thing, you know, surprisingly looks pre pretty decent. And it turns still. Um, Nice little old uh, three-inch uh, clamp. Oh, but anyway, that's that. I know y'all are tired of me rambling on. That's okay. <laughs> Some of you, half of you has already clicked off the video by now. I will be announcing the, the winner of these Craftsman pliers later on this evening in a different video. Um, I don't want to confuse the two and other than that hey y'all take care um hopefully this week i'll be doing these comparisons plus i've got other things to show you like these these snap-on pliers i'm sorry nipex pliers <laughs> lord in mercy uh y'all take care thanks for everything you do Make sure to like, click, and subscribe, okay? I really need it. And hey, tell your friends out there about me. We need to get those numbers up. These numbers I got right now are rookie numbers. We need to pump those numbers up. Y'all take care. Somebody's walking away for $40,000.